Tableau Dynamic Parameter is a much appreciated feature that was released in version 2020.1. It allows us to automatically populate a parameter's value based on data every time we open the workbook. Well, this feature has been a game changer that has solved so many problems. However, there is one common request which I continue to see. That is to add all value option to the list of dynamic parameters. Well, unfortunately, there is no straightforward way to do this. Once you select the option to dynamically update the parameter when the workbook opens, you cannot manually add any new items to the list. Well, there is a simple way to address this scenario by using an extension. And in today's tutorial, I will show you how to add the all option to dynamic parameters in Tableau using an extension. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. So let's look at this dashboard on crime rate in New South Wales, Australia, which I have built a couple of months ago. In this particular dashboard, we are showing the stats of crime rate in New South Wales, one of the state in Australia, over a period of time. And I have used the selection of local government area. So there are different local government areas, and I've created a parameter for this where we can select different areas. However, in this parameter, you will notice that there is no option to select all these param all these values in one go. Well, if we look at this parameter, and if I edit the parameter, you will notice here that we are passing all the values in the form of list from a particular field that is LGA from the data source. And whenever the workbook opens, if there is any changes in the data set, and we have added new LGS or new values, then it will automatically refresh in the parameter. So we don't have to manually add the values. So that's one of the benefits of using dynamic parameters. However, I want to see all value here as well. Well, in that case, we can't do much unless we go back to fix and then we add a new value at the bottom here, which I don't want. I want to keep it when the workbook opens, select the local comment area value from the dashboard or from the data source to keep it latest value whenever we open it. So in order to update this value and make sure we have the option to select all, we have to use an extension. So what we can do in that case, first of all, to use that extension, we need to create a new worksheet. So in this case, I can say hide sheet which we need to hide it on the dashboard. This is kind of a placeholder field which we will be using in this scenario. So what we will do, first of all, we'll bring the LGA values or any other dimension which we are using in dynamic parameter, bring that into row shelf and select the parameter which you are using and make sure you click on show parameter. So that value is selected here. Now go back to the dashboard and make sure in this particular dynamic parameter value, we are not using when workbook opens. Instead, we will say allowable values, we will select all of them and press OK. And I will tell you in a second why we did that. So click OK. So once we have that setting done here, we will bring that height sheet onto the dashboard. So I will just keep it here on the top and I will hide that in some time so so that it's a bit visible. Let's let's put it here and I will change the settings. So I will format it to make sure we have the background as colored. So let's select white and I will make sure it's fit the entire view or change it to fixed width. So just to make sure like you can see the data when we update the filter. So right now all the values are here, right? So what we will do now, go back to the object window and drag the extension at the top or wherever you are adding the filters or parameters, right? And here you will use the extension called data-driven parameters. So click on that 
And once you do that, the extension window pops up. And here you have to select the parameter which you will be using. So in this case, we have created the parameter LGS selection. So set that value and then select the worksheet where you created that placeholder worksheet, right? So where you have that parameter as well as the field. So here we know we have created this height sheet. So I will select that and set it. And in that, we know we have used LG as a field. So click on that and set it. Then go to options. And here you can say automatically reset value on dashboard load. So every time you load the dashboard, it will automatically reset the values. And if you have any new data values or data points in the data set, it will refresh it. And also you want to include all value in the parameter list. And you will notice when I select that, there are brackets across both sides, right? So in this case, I don't need it. You can add any option like that. So you can change it to, let's say, test option if you want. So it's not only for all, you can add any option. So in this case, we will use all. So there are scenarios where you want to dynamically add existing options, existing values, and you want to add a couple of more. So in this case, you can add one at a time, right? So you can only add one value here and I will click OK. So once I do that, you will see here in this particular selection, there is all option and this one. So I will click here and reload it. And once we do that, we will go back to our sheet. So if we select here the value as Bega Valley, it's not updating. So why it is not updating? Because we didn't add a calculated field, so LGA calculation. So I haven't brought it in. So I will edit it to show you. So here I have added a calculation where I'm saying if LGA, that dimension value equal to LGA selection, which is the parameter, or if LGA selection, the parameter value equal to all, which will give us a result of Boolean, true or false. So I will bring it in here and I will select true, press OK, and I will apply this to all the related, all the data sources which are using. So let's go back here and you will see it is only updated for better value now. All the dashboard is updated. So in this case, I will hide this sheet just maybe behind here and I will make it really small so it's not visible. And I will just put it here so it's not visible. Maybe behind this. All right, so it's not visible at all. And let's say I select all and you will see here the LGA selection, the actual parameter is changing as well. So now let's say and change it to blue mountains and this value will change and accordingly the dashboard will up, get updated as well. So now what we will do, our original selection of the parameter, we will remove it from here. So that was just to show you guys how it works. And now we will make sure this parameter is selected here. And I will move it here up a little bit like this. We can do a little bit of formatting here. And you will see here, we will have all these values here. I will select all. And I will bring a floating text window. And I will say LGA selection. Or you can say, please select LGA, whatever works for you. And we will put it just above here. So we will move it on top of this one and it will look something like this. So now let's look at the dashboard. So we have please select LGA and you can select whichever you want and the dashboard will get updated accordingly and whenever there is new value of LGA in the data set and you open the dashboard or the workbook, it will automatically get updated and you don't need to worry about any data changes. And also it will have that option of all. So that's how you can use data-driven parameter extension to add all value option to the list of dynamic parameter. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. If you have any question, feel free to reach out and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.